Italy were facing into a fourth whitewash in five years and hoping to arrest a run of 16 successive defeats in the NatWest Six Nations Championship. In contrast, a win for Scotland would see them record three victories in a championship season for the third time in the Six Nations era. Tommaso Allen gave Italy a seventh minute 3 0 lead before Scotland struck at the other end in the tenth minute. Having gone through the phases, the visitors drew the Italian defenders into the centre. And when Hamish Watson launched a long pass wide, hooker Fraser Brown had time to wait before collecting the ball and going over for the opening try of the match. The try may not have been a thing of great beauty, but an important score for the Glasgow Warriors to edge Scotland ahead 5-3 as Laidlaw missed the conversion. But throughout this championship, Italy have scored tries, nine in the four matches before this one. And just short of the quarter hour, Conor O'Shea's men were back in front. The Italians remained patient, and Allen, who previously played for the Scottish under-20s, produced a lovely sidestep to find the gap and race over for the score that raised the spirits of the home supporters in the Stadio Olimpico. Allen showing what a threat he can be and the Italian number 10 converted his own score to leave it Italy 10 Scotland 5 it had been a solid start to the game for the home side and it was to get better in the 21st minute again Allen was to play a central role he displayed excellent vision with the grubber kick behind the defense and fullback Matteo Minozzi raced onto it for a marvelous score Minozzi's fourth try in successive matches. The Zebre man has been one of the star players for Italy in this year's championship. And when Allen converted the score, Italy's lead was out to 17 points to five. Minozzi showing that he could be a valuable addition to any team. But the 12 point lead was reduced to five soon after that as Scotland struck again. It was captain John Barkley who did well off the back of the mall as the Scottish forwards rolled towards the Italian line. Barkley showing good awareness to pick his moment and force his way over the line. The flanker who's on his way to Edinburgh next season with the score that brought the Scots right back into the game. When Laidlaw converted this one, it was 17 points to 12. Italy continued to dominate possession, but that would be the last score of an entertaining first half. After a strong opening 40 minutes, Italy looked like they'd made a dream start to the second period. They moved the ball at pace before Sebastian Negri explosively burst through the defensive line and raced clear for what would have been his first ever try for his country on his seventh appearance. However, the Italians' joy was short-lived. MO Marius Jonker ruled that there had been a knock-on in the build-up to the score. Pascal, yeah. We have a knock-on. Yeah. By White. Yeah. Uh, so you have to come back for a scrum okay. to Blue. Okay. On the 22. Yeah, thanks. No try. No try. It was a blow for the Italians, but they soon put that behind them yeah, with another on, brilliant on. try to get the crowd out of their seats again. Yeah, yeah, no, Jake Poledri, on his debut for the Azzurri, did superbly in midfield, forcing his way past Ryan Wilson and going clear before picking a perfect pass to Allen. The out half sprinted over for his second and Italy's third try of the match. The Scots will be pointed with their defensive effort 45 minutes on the clock and Italy with a double score lead 24 points to 12 after Allen landed the conversion one of Italy's problems this season has been that they faded late in games and as this one went into the last quarter it was Scotland on the attack going through phases and forcing the Italians into energy sapping tackles the Scots bided their time and when Laidlaw fired a pass out wide, Sean Maitland had space to step inside and dart over the line for a vital score to bring Scotland back to within striking distance of the home side. Laidlaw was operating at out half now with Finn Russell departed. He kicked the conversion to make it 24-19 with a massive last 19 minutes to come. In the 71st minute, the Scots edged back in front. 
when again they stayed patient and waited for the right moment. Law picked out Hogg and the Scottish number 15 skipped through the gap and over the line with the finish as bright as his orange boots. A fine try from Hogg and an excellent conversion from Laidlaw put Scotland 26 points to 24 ahead. But there was still time for late drama. First, Allen kicked a 40-metre penalty to edge Italy back in front of the 75th minute. The reaction of the home supporters gave an indication of how much victory would mean to Italian rugby. But there would be no fairy tale ending from an Italian perspective because with just a couple of minutes remaining, Italy were penalised for collapsing the Scottish Mall. Scotland played with an advantage before the referee brought it back for the earlier infringement. It was a testing kick for Laidlaw, particularly with so much at stake. But the Scottish number nine kept his composure and just about squeezed the kick between the posts for the winning score. At the full-time whistle, it was relief for the visitors. The third win of the campaign and a team that's progressing under Gregor Townsend, albeit this wasn't a vintage performance from the Scots. It was desolation for the Italians who'd been so close to that all-important victory to break their losing run. Final score after a thrilling match in Rome, Italy 27, Scotland 29.